Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld Ideology Modded as Stranded Soldiers. We currently have a raid from Christie's Hatchets and they've arrived nearby. They're going to prepare for a while and then attack. We do have Nero coming back in, preferably that way she does not get attacked by this person. But you know, to be honest, something I'm thinking of doing instead Maybe we could just shoot this person from here. They do only have a melee weapon, as far as I can see. Yeah, that's all they got. So I think we could take them. Hey, are you any good, actually? <clears throat> Ooh, 14 in melee. That's pretty crazy. You're a jealous psychopath. Not exactly interested in keeping you. You have a burning passion and a pretty, pretty high um, social skill, but I'm not extremely interested in that, seeing how we have a lot of people. So let's see if we can kill this person, or at least draw their attention to attack us, and then we're going to run away like cowards. So as soon as we... you should be coming, right? To attack us. I'll go ahead and move. Because we can still... yeah. <laughs> Wasn't much of a raid, huh? Oh, that's alright. We don't mind. That's alright. We'll dig a grave for you. We'll put you in the ground somewhere. Um, Probably put you in the ground here. It's not a big deal. It's where you died, at least. <laughs> Doc is still... Whoa, 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 what's going on? Oh, hunting a turkey. It scared me. I thought you were under attack. Needing a warden. Huh. Oh, is luck... Uh, luck is down. That's alright, we'll get a warden. I mean, it's alright. Need a doctor. Need medical care. Oh, what's up with luck? It's just bruises. Yeah, chill, it's alright. Food poisoning major. He'll be back up and running in no time. He's just extremely, um, well, he's just extremely sick currently. He was, he was drunk. He was crossfaded, you know, high and drunk. And then, of course, he got a food poisoning. So it's quite all right. Doc should be back on his feet soon as well. Thank you, Nero. Hey, will you go ahead and actually build that for me? Because you could just go ahead and bury that person right now. I know you don't really want to, but I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Nero. Go ahead and put you in the ground. Thank you. Yeah, we're still working on trying to get Cat recruited. It's taking quite a while. Uh, last episode, we had that Mega Sloth attack, which was 115% my fault with Doc. <clears throat> and Doc also has muscle parasites. Now, the issue is, and I see now why it's telling me we need a doctor, is because Doc and Luck are both laying down and can't really move and they're the only people that can do doctoring which is fine they'll come back up as doc gets um healed from the mega sloth paw scratches he should be fine and then after luck heals from food poisoning which is probably what's going to happen first before he heals from those bruises we should be okay now we don't have a lot of steel <clears throat> we only have 22 steel i think that's all i see so, which actually, you know what, I was going to say, we need to mine that out, but we do have these ship chunks that we can actually mine, which I think is a good idea. We can get steel from that. Um, go ahead and do this one, too. Get steel from there uh, to try and finish off our bear traps. We haven't really had to use our traps that much, to be honest with you. I th we used them against this person, but, the you know, we just shot her to death. We didn't even get to use the traps. Nero, what's up? Oh, you are wreck deprived? I mean, we have a chess table, but I guess you don't like that. Um, what else do we have? We have a horseshoes pin. We could we could put out here <laughs> somewhere. We could do it right here. You guys could play just outside the colony. Not a big deal. Oh, thank you. I wonder how much... Um, I forget how much steel these give. Yeah, 20. It's not a lot. That's fine. We do get components from it as well, though. So that's useful. Hey, will you actually come and... Tend to dock after you eat? Thanks. Maybe if we can heal his muscle parasites, we can try and get rid of them. So it is our first snowfall. It's the 6th of September in fall. We had our first snow there, though. It looks like it's gone already. But things are going to continue to get snowy and cold. Nero. Oh, my God. Somebody refueled this generator. Um, we should look into animals to kill. See, now there's quite a bit of animals. Rabbits. Um... Raccoons. Oh my god, what happened? Oh my god, did you see that? What happened to that? Um, I bet a wolf ate it, right? Arctic wolf. No? Was it eaten by the lynx? Oh, yes it was. And I'm going to take that. <laughs> I'm going to take that raccoon, pal. 
Uh, probably don't want to be harvesting berries that far away in case we start getting hunted by these animals like that wolf. We do need to try to harvest this heel root because we do not have any herbal meds. We only have three normal meds. We don't have a high enough plant skill to um, grow any, so it's an issue. It's cat, you're healing cat. Well, I appreciate that. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Medical emergency. What's going on? Malnutrition. Oh, my God. Yeah, nobody's fed you. I didn't even think about that with you being, um, they're not being a warden. Clean this shit up, Luck. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I'm so stupid. Let's go ahead and get her healed. Uh, good thing, though, because she would have, uh, <laughs> she would have starved to death in there. Oh, Nero cheering Doc up. Remember the good old days when we were on the starship before it exploded and we fell here and met these strange people? Me either. <laughs> Me either, Doc. Oh, man. I need to try and get this stuff just hauled urgently out of Lux's room. <clears throat> that is going to cause an issue. I probably just should have put some doors here and left it open. That way they could walk through to his room. I don't know. I think the vent's fine, but... Hey, Doc, you're back up and running. Cool, cool, cool. Get your weapons. I'm not exactly sure why Nero has that club and a knife. I don't know. I forgot. I've probably done that. So Doc is going to have a major break risk. Not preferable. New lovers. <gasps> oh, Doc and Nero. Oh, my gosh. That is pretty cool. All right. Whose room should they take? Probably Doc's, I guess. That's fine. We'll, we'll do Doc's. Sorry if you hear my chair squeaking as well. Brand new chair, and it's, it needs oil, I guess. I don't know. It keeps squeaking. I'm still trying to get the, uh, the new mic down <clears throat> and uh, try to make sure it's not extremely loud, um, which, you know, or like picking everything up, which I think it's going to. Not much I could do, but... Uh, <laughs> um, ooh, the deserter. So we do have that quest. So... Uh, oh, real quick before we read this. I do just want to say that this video is being recorded right after the other video. Um, the last one. So, if, you know, you see, uh, it sounds like I haven't seen comments or anything. It's because I haven't, so I apologize. We do have the deserter quest. Um, what's this person like? They're normally really good, but... To be honest, I always take the deserter quest, so I'm going to turn him away. I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about it, because... I want to do, you know, I, I don't want to always take that quest because it does give us a large um, advantage, a big advantage because those people from that, like, uh, faction or whatever, the deserters are normally really good. Like, they have good skills. They always have, like, a chain shotgun or something. So, not interested. I don't want to do that. Doesn't seem fair. Don't want to get too much of an edge. Uh, you know, I want to kind of try to survive on our own, if at all possible, without having people like that. I'm going to go ahead and put a harvest order on this rice. We don't have a lot of it, but it's a good bit we could get done. Uh, Nero's going to be butchering. I need some plants cut, people. What's going on? What is going on? Uh, I mean, I could probably let Nero do some plant cutting if she has time. Or cleaning. That'd be preferable. Try and keep this area clean in here. After butchering and all that, it's going to be a lot better if we can... Get some cleaning done. That way nobody's getting food poisoning all the time. Any other animals we'd like to hunt? Ooh, yeah, look at this. Let's not even worry. Well, we'll kill that one, but... I say we get some of those stallions killed. Hey, real quick, actually. Won't you just go ahead and hunt that one? I mean, it's almost dead. I would prefer to use up our... You know, like, time and stuff on a animals that are big enough for us to, like, actually, you know kind of sustain us uh rabbits and whatnot aren't going to produce a lot of meat after we kill them but you got a lot of meat in here a lot of it is that mega sloth meat and buffalo thankfully so i am glad even though we got a little hurt doing that i am glad that we killed them hey i want you to harvest these trees dude don't you worry about that chunk and we almost have batteries researched i mean episode five i guess we should right by this point we should <laughs> we probably should have batteries researched but that's okay some things take time. Uh, trying to think of what we want to do, where we want to put the batteries. Who can mine? Nobody. That's good. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. <clears throat> um, we may build a spot then for the batteries. I don't know. 
Or should we build a little battery place? Kind of want to do it here, but also that's our tank where we're <laughs> converting people uh, with all the vomit and whatnot. I don't know, to be honest. Um, quest available. We'll see it in a minute. Uh, Refugee Empire says that his old friend has been wounded while traveling. The victim, a 41-year-old human computer, has no or uh, has nobody to spare to rescue him. Uh, what, what do you like? I can't. I don't really... I'm not interested in getting a lot of people right now, to be honest with you. That's the thing, right? It's, I mean, that we're getting offered plenty of people, but it's like, I don't really want to take that. I don't think. Don't want to take that. Come on, Luck. Finish off the batteries. Look how close we are. Good lord. Almost there. And we are slowly chipping away at Kat's mental uh, capacity <laughs> to, get, to get her to join us. It's going to take a while. I kind of forgot what we want her doing. I think growing, which is going to be very useful for us. And as soon as we get this harvested, we want to try to get that hauled urgently to make sure it is not rotting out there, preferably. Or actually, Doc's going to go ahead and do it. Thanks, Doc. Probably for a little while. Yeah, and he's coming back to eat. How's it going? What are we at with her? Eh, 4.3. Takes a while, but we're getting there. Come on, batteries! Come on! Almost! Let's go ahead and start building a... I'm going to actually go ahead and... Yeah, there we go. What do we want to do next? Basic climate control wouldn't be bad. Uh, do we want to do that? I wouldn't mind. Solar power? Yeah, let's do solar power. I'd like to have some generators like that. And I'm going to go ahead real quick and do a... I don't know where to do this, though. That's the problem. Up here, maybe? I don't really care about that tree. Um, Let's go ahead and do this. One... This way, we'll have enough room. I've done that incorrectly. Like this. So this way, we'll have enough room for two batteries. And actually, we can do the large and small ones. Wow, that's probably a better idea to do the large. I'll do a normal battery. We'll do two normal batteries. Not a big deal. And then, let's go ahead and take a underground power conduit. Even though it's in the wall, it doesn't matter. It doesn't cost anything extra. And for redundancy, I am going to bring it down here. And we will get that done shortly. Um, we are using up a lot of that steel. I'm going to go ahead and cancel these. We're using up a lot of this steel on our bear traps. Which, you know, we want those done. But also, we want to try and have batteries and power and stuff going. So I'm, gonna, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and put Doc on Mining 1. And also Nero on Mining 1. I want to try to get this um, steel mined out. That's what I want to do. Because if we can get the steel mined out, it'd be pretty good. And we can use it for things like traps and whatnot. So let's go ahead and start working on that. And the psychic drone is ending. Sweet. So Cat here has had a crisis of belief. I've been letting time go for a while just to see if anything interesting would happen. We had a few quests come up. <clears throat> we had a the fleeing duchess um we had this one let me look uh what was this one maybe we already seen this one to be honest i can't remember but we did have um the fleeing duchess um which is basically another thing from the uh like royalty faction or whatever which i wouldn't i'm gonna load the map I didn't think that we had them on the map. I guess we do, don't we? They just popped up. I could have swore to God they weren't there before. <laughs> or maybe I did leave them. I don't remember. It seems like every time, though, I do like a game where I try to get rid of them. Well, I could just turn royalty off, to be honest. But every time I try to get rid of that faction, they you know, still show up somehow. So <laughs> it's not a big deal, though. Not a big deal at all. Um but yeah, Cat had a crisis of belief, which is fine because she does thankfully still believe in our moral ethics, just not near as much. Um, and she is slowly coming around. She is currently at 1.6 resistance, so hopefully she joins us soon. I'm actually going to go ahead when we have time, which we're, oh, poor Doc, puking out here working on a battery room. After we get this done, I'm actually going to try to work on a small room here for Cat as well. Um, or maybe, <clears throat> I feel like maybe we should build it out this way. I don't know if I want to build right in front of our defenses here. I suppose I could. Oh no, Doc. 
I still didn't even get the uh, thing done here, though, the bed. Good lord. I need to get some plant cutting done. What do I have Nero doing after hunting and everything? She's doing construction. She should be done with hunting. We have quite a bit of meat in here. We'll hunt more if we need to, but we have a good bit of meat currently. We're definitely going to have to hunt more. <laughs> we'll do it. You know, We'll take it as it comes, but uh, I don't know. I do not know. But yeah, we're going to try to get some more wood going and stuff. You know what? Luck here, since we do have, um, we do have, I'm going to let you go cut some plants when you get time luck. We do have batteries now. We are also uh, doing solar panels, but that's not as big of a deal. So I'm going to try and get luck to do some plant cutting when he has time. And that way we can try and get some wood for construction, like this bed and everything. Doc does have food poisoning though, and muscle parasites. So he's going to be down and out for a short period of time. Jesus, look how dirty <laughs> this room is. Oh my god, it's so bad. I think we were going to let Cat be kind of like cleaning, right? I think so, because Cat's only good at planting. So Cat will probably be cleaning most of the time. Good majority of the time. Hey, go ahead and clean in here if you don't mind. Uh, that way everyone else doesn't get food poisoning. Thanks. Be nice of you. Appreciate it. Need to also get some floors going in here as well. Go try to deconstruct some more stuff, I think, and uh, do like a nice, like, this is marble. We should have enough marble to do that. Food binge. Oh, no. Come on, luck. That's not a big deal. We have plenty of food for the moment. Try and work on getting some more, though, but I want to get this construction stuff done. Definitely batteries as soon as possible. There you go, Nero. Thank you. Now, do we have enough steel? I don't think we have near enough steel. Um, do we have steel nearby? Ship chunks or anything nearby? What's this? Granite wall, slate, right? Yeah, slate. Not seeing any steel. Um, hey, look at this. Free food. What killed these, I wonder? Oh, they killed each other. Oh, that's interesting. All right. Is anybody on haul urgently? Uh, Doc is. Eh... This isn't going to spoil. It's frozen. I just want to get those hauled in for meat. Um, we do have ship chunks. So let's go ahead and select all of those and deconstruct all of them. That'll give us some. Uh, that'll give us some steel. Thank you, Nero. Thank you. Yeah, that'll give us some steel to work on the battery. We should have plenty of components. We do. I'm gonna turn my zones off. It looks a lot better without those on. I forgot. Whoops. Episode. Four? Are we on four? Four or five? Five, I think. And I'm just now remembering. I apologize. <laughs> it looks a lot better without those on. Hey, Doc, where are you going? Oh, well, thank you. And everyone's going back to sleep. It's all right. We'll try and get the bed built soon. <laughs> Trying to get Doc and Nero in their own little room. Actually, I didn't think about it, but when that happens, we could just let Cat have this room. I originally was going to give her this one. But, I don't know, in case we have somebody else who joins us or something, and we have to toss them in here into the vomit tank to convert them, and then throw them into here to, you know, <laughs> recruit them and make them love us forever and ever. So, uh, that'll probably be what we do. Yeah, we have that dead lynx, though, and dead wolf will help out a little bit with food. Try and get all these ship chunks deconstructed. Ooh, actually, is this, what is this? Marble? What I click on? I'm not clicking on that. Limestone. That's marble. We should have plenty of marble, to be honest with you. I don't want to worry about it right now. Ooh, look at the snow coming down. Is that snow? Yeah, gentle snow. Yeah, I don't want to worry too much about the flooring and decorations right now. I'd like to get that done, but I need to get these bear traps in first and foremost, and we're still taking forever to do that. We did get that grave built, so... Um, what's Nero doing? Oh, you're both playing chess. Hello. Who's winning? Oh, all right. Doc must have lost. He <laughs> got really mad and quit. Um, how close is Cat to joining us? 0 0.1. Don't you love it? Hey, real quick, before you do that, I want you to bury this person, Doc. Get them out of there, dude. We're sick of looking at her. Sick of looking at the dead body, please and thanks. There we go. There we go. We'll get that done. He should be going to deconstruct. Where are you going? Oh, down here. Cool, cool. Appreciate you. Out in the middle of the snow. 
tearing it apart with his, what I assume is probably his bare hands. Eh, maybe he has like a little stone or something. That might make sense. I get those hauled urgently. Nice components. Totally forgot that ship chunks have components. Can you do this? Because I actually want all of that done, if you don't mind. Ooh, an eclipse. Interesting. We need to try and get some of this herbal meds done as well. Alright, hold on here, you. Hold on. I want you to haul that. Okay. Wait on it. Oh, okay. I guess Nero's going to do it. Hey, marriage is... Oh, wow. Out in the snow? You guys propose while you're hauling steel back? Wow. It makes me wonder, did they know each other on the starship that got tore apart? Or did they only learn to know each other once they crashed? Maybe they were a part of the same crew. Like, Nero here was a... What was your thing? Army cook. So she was like a cook, and then Doc was an army scientist. So they were probably in different areas, but maybe they met, like, um, you know, in the mess hall, the cantina or something on the ship. and Or maybe they barely knew each other, and then their love story began <laughs> once they hit the ground. I don't know. I'm trying to trying to fabricate a uh, trying to fabricate a story. Where do we want them to get married at? Here? Uh, probably out here in the dirt. <laughs> probably would be better out here in, like, the, uh, the courtyard, I guess is what we'll call this, like a town square. Hi! See, I can't see you. I mean, two guinea pigs isn't a lot. They keep trying to give us a lot of people, but I don't know. I don't want to take a lot of people. We can barely handle the ones we have. So Cat should be joining us uh, here shortly. Hey, Nero, real quick. We don't have wood. Got a little bit. How about now? Still can't do it? How much does this cost? 85. That is a lot of wood. Hey, go do this real quick. Doc will be fine with his muscle parasites. I need you to cut some trees down. We need the wood. Nero is going to... Ooh, hauling the steel for the battery. How much more do we need? A little bit more. Uh, we have more down here. I don't. I hate that. They haul. She's hauling four steel. Steel. Steel up there. It's like uh, there's a little bit more if you just go and get it, please. We also need to get some cleaning done in here. It's disgusting. There you go. There you go. Let's go ahead and put a. I know this isn't really a urgent thing, but we don't have anyone who's doing hauling all the time. I want to get this out of the way. Try and move it. <clears throat> Should be pretty, it's actually pretty cold in here. Why is it so cold? It's negative 11 degrees Fahrenheit outside, so I guess that's why. We only have the one heater. Um, we could probably do a, I don't know, should we do another heater? We're literally only heating this big room, like the kitchen, the dining room, and then three bedrooms, which I know is probably a good sized area, but still, it doesn't, it feels like it would be a little bit, feels like it would, uh, it would warm up a little bit more. Uh, let's remove this. I need to get that hauled urgently. All the all the herbal meds we can. How many of these do we have on the map? Zero. We just, <laughs> we just have one. That's uh, quite all right. Not a big deal. But I want to try to get as much as that as uh, as we can. New recruit, cat. Oh, welcome, welcome. What's this? Oh, I have to. I'll give somebody. I'll give them their religion thing. Everybody's like, you know what? We have enough people. Maybe we should, uh, maybe we should, you know, actually start practicing our religion properly. Plant cutting. Luck, I'll take you off plant cutting and go back to research. Mm, maybe I'll let you do some cleaning, actually, before research. Because we need cleaning done bad. So if you could do that, that'd be great. Doc, Nero. Still need wood, which is unfortunate. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's so fast. Much faster than before. Go ahead and work on that bed immediately, Nero. You're going to need a bed if you're going to get married, okay? You want to sleep with your lover, your, your husband and or wife. So you want to get that done. Come on. Come on. It's still going to be a very tiny room, but it's all right. They won't mind, I'm sure. God, it takes so much wood. It takes so much wood. Did we get that battery built? Still no. We'll get there, I guess. All right, I'm going to go ahead and assign Nero and Doc. So this one I'm going to uninstall, and this one can be Cat's room. So that should be good. 
That should do good. We got cat. That's awesome. I'm very happy to have her. Do need to try and get... Uh, need to try and work on this battery if we can. I don't know if we have enough steel, but we'll get Doc to work on it. We should, I'm assuming. I don't know if it would have let me push that button to complete it. <laughs> if, uh, if we didn't have enough steel, so... I'm so happy though. We finally have a like a functioning little colony. We have some people, you know, who have joined us. We want to do some wooden dining chairs here. Uh, we also need to try and get this mining done at some point. Is this ready? Oh, it's ready! Finally, <laughs> finally a battery. Hot dog! Look at that. Ah, so it is finally going to store some power. Oh man, that's awesome! Look at us! Finally, this episode we're actually getting some stuff done. Issue is, though, we are going to start running low on food. That's going to be a problem, I gotta say. And I don't think we really have any berry bushes. Nope, look at this berry bush. No, nope. Does it have berries? I don't know if it does, to be honest. It doesn't. <laughs> sure doesn't look like it does, but it might. Now, something I want to look at, though, is muffalo. How many muffalo are over here? These two are sleeping on top of each other. I probably, probably shouldn't be looking at that. Uh, let me see. So there should be... There's three up here. Hmm. Maybe we should attack the muffalo for food. I don't know if that's a good idea, though. Any caribou that are not down here... I don't know where that one is. Most of them are, I think. Yeah, most of them are. That's fine, but... You know, if we need to, I guess we could build some stuff for power. More stuff for power and do, like, a sun lamp. We could kind of cog that together, do a sun lamp. Um, I don't know though. I don't know. We will see what we need to do. We might go ahead. I'm starting to run a little low on time. I was thinking of tacking some muffalo up here. Catatonic. Oh my god, cat! Catatonic! Come on! You just joined us! Oh, Jesus, cat! And you were holding a piece of wood as a weapon. That's alright. Ah... <sighs> All right, cat. You don't want that stuff. Jeez, that's all right. We'll, uh, we'll feed you. We'll keep you alive. I mean, thanks for nothing. <laughs> Basically, thanks for not doing anything. Oh, man. Yeah, we got a little bit of food. I don't know. I'm wishing a trader would come by. I guess we could do a... Oh, we'd have to research a comms console, wouldn't we? Let's upset the local wildlife a little bit. Did we ever get luck a weapon built? Um, we didn't, did we? No, we need a short bow. Can cat shoot? Cat's got a four. Let's do two short bows. It's nothing crazy, but we don't have any ranged weapons currently. Who could do crafting? Two, four, cat can do it. Um, I don't know. Let's let Nero do it, actually, real quick. Will you come craft, Nero? Try and get those short bows done. Even if they're not great, at least we have them. I mean, that's, you know, going to be important. So if we're going to attack, like, this little herd of muffalo, I want to make sure that everybody at least has, like, some type of ranged weapons, and we'll try to try to get that going. I'm going to turn these back on so that we can uh, get those done. Oh, man. Yeah, it shouldn't take very long to get that done. We'll try and finish up another one real quick uh, for Cat. I may wait until Cat is no longer catatonic. Uh, that normally doesn't last too long, I don't think. Um, it can, but I don't think it always does. That's a very poor short bow. I'll let you equip that. And we want to make sure you're still keeping this as your sidearm, though. Because you're probably going to need that. Hello, Nero. What are you doing? Oh, you're talking? <laughs> are, you, are you talking to Doc while he's trying to sleep? <laughs> it looks like it. It doesn't look like he's enjoying it. All right, though, guys. I think I am going to call it an episode. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. We finally got Cat with us today. Um, that's about it, to be honest. We got a little bit of stuff done, but finally got Cat with us today. Finally got our batteries done, stuff like that. Thank God we've been working on that forever. Um... Still looking into, that's all right, still looking into trying to get some food, though. I think we're going to end up trying to attack this herd of muffalo or something, and uh, maybe we'll make a, maybe we'll make a break for, um, what's it called, the, oh god, <laughs> I don't know, microelectronics so we can try and buy stuff, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking we'll do, yeah, here's a sun lamp. So there's actually, I think, is this a square wall lamp, wall light? 
I think I thought there was one that you could do that's a sun lamp. I don't see it though. One of the modded ones. That's all right though. We could do a sun lamp if we need to though. We could put it like right here. Or alternatively, you know, somewhere up here. And we could try to grow some rice or something if need be. Like right there. Um, we might look into doing that if things start getting a little rougher. And we don't, you know, we're not able to actually get any food. So, we'll check into that though. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.